Hello, my very most beautiful Sagittarius. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your April bonus reading. Now this reading is all about the person on your mind. So whoever you're thinking about, that is who this reading is intended for. Now it is still a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do a personals open. And everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is going to be in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding from my very most beautiful, beautiful Sagittarius. Please may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Sagittarius energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my lovelies, let's take a look and see what's going on for you. So this reading is all about the person on your mind. Whoever you're thinking about, my loves, that's who this is for. I blamed you, but it was my fault. Whew. That's a powerful statement. I blamed you, but it was my fault. I love you. Passionate. Someone still feels very, very strongly about you. And I, the words I just heard in my mind were after all this time. So for some of you, this is obviously not going to be for everybody, but for some of you guys, um, you could be in separation from this person for quite some time. I am scared to reach out. And overwhelming. So I feel like this is somebody that you guys either had like a really bad breakup or something, you know, like it just got very intense. I feel like it was just a, like a bad breakup or something, you know, there was just a lot of... A lot of stuff between the two of you but yeah I do for some of you guys I feel like this person is somebody that you have been separated with for quite some time um, but they they still feel the same way it's like it, it doesn't matter how long it's been they still feel just as strongly for you they still think about you you know they still want this like they haven't they haven't let go at all let's grab another deck we're gonna take a look at this person's headspace their heart space their true intentions and their actions Show me this person's thoughts. What's going on in this person's head when it comes to Sagittarius? Where is their head at when it comes to Sagittarius, please? Page of Cups. Yeah, so they could feel like with that energy, I'm really drawn to how the fish looks like it's about to jump out. They could feel like you were the one that got away, um, you know, or that you're slipped away from them. You got the Wheel of Fortune. They could definitely want to shift. They don't like where things are at. I definitely feel like this is them wanting to reach out, wanting to express how they feel to you, wanting a second chance. Absolutely wanting some kind of, um, you know, just wanting to be back in your life. How do they feel about Sagittarius? What are their feelings? What's going on in their heart space? How do they feel about Sagittarius? The Nine of Cups. So you are their wish. Oh, you are their wish. The Three of Wands. So future thinking, they still have hope. Um, you know, this person does. They still have hope um, regardless. You know, I feel like that's one of the things that um, keeps them holding on. You know, there's this song lyric and it says, um, it took the death of hope to let you go. I feel like that's one of the things that is making it for this person, regardless of how long it's been, um, is still able to hold on because they still have hope for the future. Um, they do. I still think they still think about a future with you. They still want a future with you. What are their true intentions? What are their true intentions when it comes to Sagittarius? The Four of Wands. So some kind of a union. Um, they could. This could be twin flame energy as well. They feel very strongly about it because you know the three and four right next to each other. That's the seven of wands. That's a sense of conviction. It's like standing their ground. It's like they know without a doubt um, that you're who they want. Um, that they still love you regardless of how long it's been. That they still feel like you guys can have this. Some of them could feel like you are their twin flame as well with that energy. Well, they could still want marriage with you as well. The Knight of Cups, they want to reach out. They want to express how they feel to you. They want to tell you all of this. Well, we're going to take a look and see what their blockage is in a moment. But I want to get their action. And then we're going to look at what their blockage is. Let's see what fell out. The Star card. Wow. This is serious. The Nine of Cups, the Star card. Like, they want to heal this. You are their wish. This is this is everything that they want. Um, you know, you they want this. And they don't care how long it's been. They still feel just as strongly about this. So this is their block. I'm scared to reach out. We're going to take a look and see why. What action will this person be taking? Any actions that this person may be taking? What actions may this person be taking? You got the Empress. 
not a big action card in the moon card. They don't know how you feel about them. They don't know how you see them. They don't know if you still want this. They don't know where you're at. Why is this person afraid to reach out? Why is this person afraid to reach out? The two of cups. Some of you guys could be in it. Oh. oh, some of you guys. Okay, a couple different things. For some of you guys, I'm getting a few, quite a few different messages. Um, they definitely want to apologize here with that energy at the bottom of the deck. But um, for some of you guys, you could be in another connection. So if you're in another connection, um, you know, that's why they're not reaching out. Um, or they don't know if you've already moved on. They don't know if you're in another connection. The, also, the Ace of Wands in Reverse sometimes can feel like an energy of not interested or disgusted. So they could have fears of rejection. And depending on what happened between the two of you, they could feel that, um, you know, that you don't, you see them in a negative light or that you're kind of disgusted with them or you're just no longer interested or that you see them, like I said, in a negative light. But they do want to apologize. There's a lot that they don't see. I feel like there could have been a major tower moment here between the two of you. Um, maybe it's something they feel like they can't come back from that keeps them from wanting to reach out. But don't. Don't get it twisted my loves they you are all they want and if regardless of how long it's been um because that phrase just keep keeps coming up to me um after all this time you know they still feel just as passionate they still love you just as much they still want this just as much as they ever did so i still don't actually see them reaching out though at this time you know i see that they're scared too the none of these are really action energies i feel like there's a lot of fear of, re of rejection um some of you guys you could already be in a new connection and that could be what's holding them back as well um then and just the fear of the unknown I, I, and i feel like a lot of that is coming from hi betty i feel like a lot of that is coming from the fact that Right now, they're able to still have hope because I'm being really drawn back to that feeling of hope. And it's like while they still have hope, they can go about their life. They can, they can, you know, function. They can be okay. They can live their life because they still have hope for the future. I feel like fi actually finding out, um, you know, if they reached out and they actually found out that you weren't interested, if they had to face that truth, um, I feel like they feel like that might be too much for them to face. Um, like they couldn't go about their day. They couldn't just walk around and be okay without you um, if they didn't have that hope to keep them going. So I feel like there's almost like a fear of, I'm surprised the devil's not out because I feel like a heavy fear energy. It's almost like this fear of actually knowing the truth and what that would look like. Um, but that is what I see for you guys. So if this resonates, let me know in the comments down below. And if it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is going to be in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, guys, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just go ahead and put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light. Until next time.